This is going to be a bit of a short video as I try to determine which process is better. Reaming, as you see in, with uh, my new 8 flute high speed steel chucking reamer. Uh, plunge milling, as you see here with this 2 flute high speed steel 3 quarter inch end mill that was generously donated to me by Brian L. on the McKinney Forum. Or circular interpolation. Uh, in order to get that long reamer to fit in my z-axis travel, I had to cut some of the back of it off with a cutting wheel. I'll take a piece of scrap material here, do your typical spot drilling, and then I just run straight through with a drill with just just a brake chip, since it's all that piece is only uh, a little over half an inch thick. That's a 14 millimeter drill. Then I come in with the uh, roughing end mill to widen it to uh, just under size for the reamer. And I measured it at various points along the way. And after this roughing operation, uh, I measured it right there where I'm getting some deflection inwards. The target was to leave 4 thousandths per side, but it actually left almost double that. So. I come in with another, uh, just a spring pass, and that widened a little bit, took another two thousandths off per side to six thousandths. My target was four thousandths, but I decided to just go ahead and go with it. Um, Carl at Lakeshore Carbide suggested uh, four to five thousandths for this size reamer is ideal. So here we go, uh, 350 RPM, 4.2 inches a minute. Uh, those are numbers from G-Wizard. And bang, there it is. Zero eccentricity. It's just slightly oversized, but fine. It left a, it looks like a really nice finish. Um, up close, it doesn't look as impressive, but it's uh, definitely not bad. So here we go, plunge milling, same parameters with the two flute end mill. Um, it's really tearing through that material quite well, although I would probably add a uh, brake chip or a, a retract in there because it, it filled up with a bird's nest. Uh, it's kind of eccentric and it's a little bit oversized and the finish wasn't all that great. Probably because I was taking sort of a heavy cut. Um, if I was going to plunge mill I might start out with a larger drill. But I'm trying the same thing to do side milling as Brian suggested and there you go. Uh, that end mill spinning had exceeded the holding capacity of the motor, the y-axis motor, and just pushed the whole table out of the way. In the future, I might consider getting some higher rated motors, but I just need not make such an aggressive cut. There are the, the comparisons of finish. Here is the comparisons of the measurements taken with a telescoping bore gauge and some calipers. Uh, the reamed hole was superior in uh, size and eccentricity as well as surface finish. So in my mind, uh, reaming is better. Although plunge milling, if you can get an, a slightly undersized mill, uh, that might be ideal. So I'm going to ask Carl about that if he offers a three-quarter inch pre-ream end mill, which uh, would probably speed up this process quite a bit. Maybe not quite a bit, but at least it would be potentially easier on tooling. So I'm trying it in a. I'm trying it in a real world situation here uh, spot drilling and then drilling the bore of uh, blank for a gas block and then I kinda screwed up on this code because it was like 2 a.m. when I wrote this and I didn't realize it had so many funky moves in there but uh, it's kinda chatter anyway except for that top when it first went in uh, I kind of made a little clearance diameter so the shaft of the uh, or the shank of the end mill wouldn't rub since it was uh, deeper than the flutes of the end mill. Um, as far as eccentricity goes, it was fine. 
it was still undersized, but we went with it anyway. There we go, same parameters, I actually slowed it down just a little bit to four inches a minute just to see if that helped surface finish at all. But it sounds nice, it doesn't squeal or chatter or anything. I didn't actually measure the run out down near the end of the reamer, but it doesn't seem like it's an issue. So you notice like the top quarter inch it didn't get reamed because it's slightly overboard from that roughing operation. Wish I had a two and a quarter inch flute end mill. But there's the finish. Uh, it's it's actually, you know, the pictures lie. The, the board finish or the reamed finish is better than that roughed finish up top. But in the picture it doesn't look that different. However, I think the finish might be able to be improved upon in some way with the reamer, perhaps rounding over the cutting edges at that 45 degree taper. Um, I'm not sure. If anybody has any suggestions, let me know.